let's look at our own program that makes use of anonymous pipes. Um, I've written a very simple little program here and I'll just talk you through it first of all. And uh, we click the debug button. We'll see what it does. So I'm going to step through line by line. So the first thing puts a prompt on the screen, enter your name. And then I'm calling scanf. Scanf is reading the stream standard in, which by default is the keyboard input. So when I run that, you notice that the application has blocked. It is now blocking on standard in, and there's no data in standard in, or stream standard in, until I type something and press return. So I'm going to call myself uh, Nick and press return. And as you'll see, the code is now unblocked and is able to read that. And we can see that's now been read into uh, this string here. So we do another one. This time it's going to read a string and convert it to a float. And we're going to write it into the address of a float here. So we press F6, again it blocks. I'm going to make up a value, 86.3 kilos, let's say. And once again, the code unblocks. And then finally, we get the height, another, another floating point number. Um, I don't know, 1.87 meters, something like that. And then we calculate the body mass index and echo it to the screen. OK, and then the program runs to completion. OK, so three times there, the application blocked on the keyboard. Now I'm going to uh, run that from the terminal and we get exactly the same thing. So the Nick, uh, weight, um, so I don't know what to put, 86.3, height 1.85, say, and it works. Now I've prepared some data here demo2 data, and you'll see we've got what looks like something similar anyway to what I just typed in. There's a string, Nick, with a return character, there's an 80, and there's a 1.8. So what I'm going to do now is use cat to write that standard out, but I'm going to create a pipe that's going to connect the standard out of this command to the standard in of my application. So again, cat writes the data in this file. It would go to standard out, but that's now being connected to one end of this anonymous pipe. The other end is connected to standard in, which was the keyboard of my application. So in a sense, what we're doing is simulating the keyboard using a text file. And there we go. We see the result, 24.7. Just to confirm that is working. 0, 2, Nick, 80.0, and 1.8, 24.7. So that's how I've written a program to take advantage of anonymous pipes.